Okay, welcome to episode 2 of One Lock Olo. Um, today we're going to be covering sets 6, 8, and 9, which is 10 cases altogether. These cases are pretty evenly split between 3 by 3 transfers and new algs, although all of the new algs are like super fast, and all of the cases, both the 3 by 3 transfers and the new algorithms, um, have really easy recognition. So these are pretty great sets. Um, as always, all of the cases that I show will be listed down in the description, as well as a link to an OLL trainer and my Megamix Algs document, which contains all of the OLL and PLL algorithms that I use and recommend. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So first up we have set 9. I call the set the S-shapes on account of this pattern here, although I guess some people might call it like the big lightning bolt cakes, uh, shapes, because it's the equivalent of this case, and it's mirror on 3x3. Um, so for these first two, 9a plus and 9a minus, the algs that we're going to use are some of the standard algs that we'd use for that case in its mirror on 3x3, whereas these ones at the back are new but super short algorithms. Um, in terms of recognition, we are going to check uh, which direction this S-shape goes in, whether it's that way or that way, so that tells us whether it's a plus or minus case, and then we're going to see do we have a bar at the back here and no bar at the front, or do we have a bar at the front and no bar at the back. Um, so very straightforward recognition as for the algs. Like I said, this is one of the standard ones we'd use on 3 3 or probably the standard one, which is just R prime F sexy F prime U R. So no real special finger tricks there, I guess the index pinch, but other than that, it's very standard. So it looks like that. For the second one, 9A minus, we're going to do the alg that we do from the back here. Um, which looks like this, R U R prime, F prime, U prime, F, so just that uh, pull with our, uh, with our middle finger, and then drag this with our ring finger, R U to prime, R prime, so like that. For 9B plus here, um, we're going to do this algorithm, which is very short, R prime, U prime, F prime, U prime, F, U to R. So it's just this um, sort of push F prime, I guess is the only really unique finger trick in there. Other than that, very straightforward. And finally for 9B minus, it's just the uh, mirrored and rotated version of that previous algorithm, um, which looks like this. F, drag U, R U R prime, U to prime, F prime. that. So next we have set 8. I call these C-shapes because they're the equivalent of these uh, C-shapes on 3x3. Um, as far as recognition goes, it's dead easy. It's basically just, if we're looking at it from this angle, is the um, wide part of the C on the left here or on the right here. So you can see if I put them next to each other, they're just mirrors, obviously. Um, so that tells you whether it's a plus or a minus case, and then obviously just whether it has this big bar or not tells you if it's an A or a B case. Um, so dead easy recognition. As for the algs, this one here is 8a plus, and the alg is just a 3 through transfer, so it's the alg you might think you'd use, which is r prime u prime sledge u r. So, like that. No fancy finger tricks or anything, just simple. Um, this one here, 8a minus, there's I guess two ways of doing it. What some people will do, particularly if they're good at b moves, is from this angle do sort of the back um, mirror of that alg that I just showed, so r u back sledge u prime r prime. Um, I use that for the back angle, but in general I find it to be a little bit slower and quite a lot less consistent than the algorithm I'm about to show, so I wouldn't recommend that for most people. Um, what I'd recommend in the algorithm that I main is this one here, which is the inverse of 9b+. plus. So it goes like this, r prime u to prime, f prime, u, f, u, r. So we've got those push moves in the middle and that drag move, so I guess the finger tricks might take a little bit of, uh, of time to get used to, but once you are used to them... It's a pretty fast alg, as you can see. Um, now for these 8b cases, this one here, 8b plus, is kind of a 3 by 3 transfer, I guess. Basically, for this OLL that I showed before, um, one of the old standard algs, or I think the old standard alg, was this RUF thing that looked like this. And so you might know that, or you might not. If you do, I guess it's a 3 by 3 transfer, because we're going to use that alg on Megaminx. If you don't, it just looks like this. R-U-R2 prime, regroup. U prime, R prime, F, R, U, R, U prime, F prime, like that. So there aren't really any fancy finger tricks or anything. It's just, yeah, decent algorithm. And as for this last one, this is a new algorithm. 
um, and it's a little bit longer than some of the others, but it's super easy to finger trick and super easy to learn. Because from this angle, we just do F, and then sexy, and then zoom, this drag here, and then F prime. So F, sexy, zoom, F prime. Like that. And finally, we have set six. Unlike the other sets, this isn't really equivalent to any 3x3 um, OLL set, but it's just super easy recognition and super easy algs. So we're chucking it in here. Um, so recognition, very straightforward. It's just, you see this top pattern, it tells you it's set six. And then if it has no bars, that's 6A. If it has bars, that's 6B. So simple. Um, for 6A, we're gonna hold it so the headlights are at the back here and then do this algorithm. Uh, use U prime, R prime, hedge and then U prime with our middle finger to avoid the reload, and then R U prime R prime. So like that. Like that. And then for 6B here, we're gonna do it from this angle, um, where the bars are on the front and the back left, and the algorithm that we're gonna use is sort of a modified version of this algorithm on 3x3, but instead of doing a U prime for this fifth move here, we can do a U2 on Mega Minx. So that would look like this. F, R, U prime, R prime, and then U2, which we're gonna do by pulling it with our index finger, and then R, U, R prime, F prime. Um, that U2 pull is something that'll be a bit weird if you've never done it before, but you kind of just have to learn it. It's a super useful figure trick on Mega Minx, especially. Um, and yeah, I don't think there's really any good alternative to learning it. Um, but yeah, once you know it, super nice case. So that's it for today.